I, um, I was always interested in, in art, and both of my parents are artists, so it was sort of natural for me to be interested in it. And when I was in high school, I wanted to study art in college, but since my parents were both artists, they advised me not to, because they didn't think I could make a living as an artist. So I went to college for psychology instead and took a lot of art classes as my electives. And after college, I took a stained glass class just like a continuing ed class, and um, just got hooked, and that was, uh, I think that was 17 years ago. <laughs> and uh, all the while, during that time, I worked as a social worker, I worked with people with disabilities, and um, then uh, four years ago, I decided that it was time to stop doing that and just make art, and, and so I quit my day job, and here I am, now this is my day job. For me personally, my um, making art and what really makes me thrive as an artist is like having my work out there, having people see it, and having people buy it. It really feeds me, you know, I mean, in, in a literal sense also. I mean, people are totally into the tree, the tree theme, which is why I, I'm continuing to make the tree. Um, and, and I think people are really taken by that initially. And um, But the colors also, a lot of people, you know, for a lot of people, it's about, you know, finding the right color that speaks to them. Grab a cup, come in through the classified, she had to roll her eyes when she came across listing sprawl right out at the top said this could be the first day of the rest of your life because you can do anything you want to it's all just your state of mind most of the pieces i don't get attached to i did make a piece i think it was in february that I was just crazy about I got commissioned to do a, a sort of a art deco piece that was a floral a round floral piece for for someone and um, I had given her four designs and was totally psyched about all of them and one of them I just couldn't wait to make one and I was gonna bring it to Frog Hollow but um, I was so happy about it when it was done that it's now hanging in my kitchen <laughs> so and usually that doesn't happen you know usually I'm just I like stuff but I know that I just have to it has to move and so and I'm, you know, really involved with Frog Hollow. I go in there frequently and talk to people in there, and so I kind of, you know, have a sense for, for what people are saying about my work. And, um, and I do go to a lot of art openings and gallery events and things like this, and, you know, 99% of the time my work isn't being shown, but sometimes it is, and I'm just kind of like standing back listening to people. This could be the first day of the rest of your life Because you can do anything you want to It's all just your state of mind You can do everything you want to You just have to A lot of people talk about, you know, sort of the life of an artist and a starving artist, and I feel really fortunate that, you know, that my work, people are really into my work, and so I'm not really starving, and I, I feel really rich because I feel like, you know, like I really live a great life, you know, I get to make art all the time. I just feel really, really rich, you know, and really lucky, you know, that to me that's what it, that's what it's all about.